Known as the Super Bowl of Surfing, the Eddie Aikau Big Wave Invitational was held for the first time since 2016 in Hawaii over the weekend. An estimated 50,000 people were packed on the beach to watch. This was just the 10th time it's ever been held. That's because the tournament's rules require open ocean swells to reach a minimum height of 20 feet. However, those swells would actually be considered twice as big anywhere else in the U.S. because of how Hawaii measures waves. The Eddie was founded in 1987 to honor the memory of its namesake, a local lifeguard who is revered for saving over 500 people during his career. Also known for his impressive surfing prowess, Eddie lost his life in 1978 after canoeing into stormy weather with the Polynesian Voyaging Society. The group was attempting to retrace an ancient seafaring path that spanned thousands of miles when disaster struck and the vessel was capsized far from shore. Eddie then volunteered to paddle out and get help for the others who had been stranded on the boat with him but was never seen again. To save others is what Eddie's legacy is all about. So it's fitting that another local lifeguard emerged victorious in this year's tournament. Luke Shepardson took approved breaks from his lifeguarding duty at Waimea Bay so he can compete in the event and put up a near-perfect score to defeat defending champion John John Florence. I just can't believe it. It makes me want to cry. Other competitors also made waves during the Eddie, as the tournament featured women for the first time ever. Surfer Andrea Muller made history as the first woman to catch a wave at the Eddie. Though there are no guarantees for when we will see this competition again, it's evident the memory of Eddie Aikau remains alive in Hawaii.